In this video, we're going to talk about multiple outputs and SWB Audio App, uh, specifically with regard to SWB Audio Capture. So you see it, uh, it's quite often mentioned online uh, to set up a multiple output when you're using a virtual audio driver. So let's take a look. I've got Audio MIDI set up already open so that you can see things uh, moving along on the fly. So <laughs> let's not do that. Go to the right app. Let's choose uh, SWB Audio Capture. It's just the little menu bar app. And from here, we've got a Create Multiple Output Device button. So rather than, I'll explain what all this does in a moment, but I just want to show you how easy it is first. So I click that, and I'm going to choose what other devices I would use to listen to. So it could be a set of headphones, it could be my speakers, whatever it is. And we'll just hit Create, and we're done. Okay, bit of a bug in the menu bar, but live so now we have this new multiple output and it includes both the audio driver that you can see here and those other outputs that I selected and the cool thing of that is that if I then output audio to this new device called SWB audio multi output device if I choose that as my output say in discord or OBS then audio will be sent to all three of these devices now, why that's important is it means that you don't have to have a playthrough system running. You can use the driver just on its own, just like this. So that's it. I mean, that's how easy it is. Also, uh, if you do this again and just say, oh, I want speakers done, then the existing SWB audio multi-output just gets overwritten with the new one that, that you specified. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's how simple it is. Um, and hopefully, it takes away um, a bit of the pain involved with virtual audio.